Hey, hun, mind if I come in? I just want to chat a little. N nothing serious. I just wanted to say that I've been very grateful for you recently. From the nice braids the other day, the dinner you made last night, and just being there for me and listening to me when I need it most. I just, I feel like I owe you. Well, yeah, I mean you've done so much. I know you're just going to say, but you're my girlfriend. This is just me showing my love for you. But hun, love is give and take. And you've been doing more giving than taking as of late. Uh, not that I mind or anything, just I'd like to show my appreciation for the man who's made my life so much better. Please, I insist. Plus, I have a little surprise for you. Last night I got up to get some water, and I saw your phone screen flipped over, so I just took a little peek. Don't worry. I didn't touch anything or go through your private stuff. I respect your boundaries, love. But when I saw that you were listening to ASMR content, those, um, girlfriend role plays? Uh, no, no, I'm not mad. I think it's cute. I know you are a big softie on the inside, but hun, it's more than okay to ask me to give you positive affirmations, tell you how much I love you, call you pet names, whisper sweet nothings into your ear, yada yada, etc, etc. You get the point I'm trying to make, right? Yes, my love, you can be vulnerable and soft around me. That's the point of me being your girlfriend. It's okay for big, strong men to be all soft and squishy like that. So what's the surprise? Isn't it obvious? I want to be your ASMR girlfriend tonight. Don't you want to be held by your sweet, caring, warm, beautiful girlfriend while she calls you cute names and plays with your hair? That's what I thought. Now come here. Let me pick you up and carry you to the bedroom, my handsome boy. Here we go. Let me just... Uh, there. Are you comfy in the bed? <laughs> yes. I did light candles. I thought that lying in the dark would make this feel less personal between us, and having the lights on would be just mm, too much. Plus, just take a small whiff of the scent. It's your favorite scent. Yes, I did plan all of this out, every last little detail. The sheets are nice and clean. I left them out to dry in the sun to make them smell nice and fresh. Plus, I fluffed up the pillows, made sure the sheets were put on tightly, and left a little electric heating pad under them for a while to make sure they were warm, and of course did a quality mattress test. N no, I didn't just lie in bed. Okay, maybe a little, but I had to make sure the mattress was still comfy enough for my sweet boy. Now, how do you want to do this? Centaur cuddles can be complicated, but I'm down for anything as long as it makes you happy. Well, I could spoon you held tightly in my arms with my human hat. Though you could rest against the soft, warm, fluffy hair of my lower half between my legs. Or you could face me, again, either against my human or horse half. I'm more than happy to have your face in my chest or my belly. I know the fluff is comfy, but so are my... Mm. Anyways, let's not make it lewd. Uh, tonight is for wholesome sweet cuddles with my darling. Uh oh, you want to be held facing me? Of course, my love. 
Let me come join you on the bed. Hi there, cutie. Yes, I know I'm close. My face right up against yours. I hope you don't mind if I leave a couple kisses here and here and a couple here and maybe a few there and there. God, you're so adorable when you blush. Come here. I want to hold you, my sweet boy. Mm, you're so warm against me. You're more than welcome to hold me and nuzzle up into me, sweetheart. I'm here for you. That's it, sweetheart. There you go. Just relax into me. This is a nice, sweet, small boy being held by his big, strong, loving centaur girlfriend. Yes, more to hug and squeeze and cuddle with on a centaur. Plus, I love to take extra care of my fur just to make sure you can cuddle with my extra fluffy body. All for you, my love. I'm all for you. Hmm, don't you have work tomorrow? Right? I thought so. How about this? Since you look pretty tired, and adorably so, I might add, I'm going to hold you tight, play with your hair, whisper sweet nothings and affirmations, and occasionally give you a little kiss here and there as you drift off to sleep, okay? Your rest is important, sweetheart. How am I supposed to cuddle an insomniac husk who doesn't sleep? Now close your eyes, my sweet boy. I don't care if you're still awake. Just close them and let me take care of you. I've got you safe in my arms. Just relax, sweetheart. You're pretty when you're sleepy. How did I get so lucky to have someone as kind, caring, loving, and acceptable, and as adorable as you? You make me so happy. I love your little acts of affection, your eagerness to be there for me at my lowest points, your warm smile, the way your eyes light up when you see me come home. I just, I just couldn't be more grateful to have you in my life. You're a hard worker, too. Mm. Believe it or not, I do listen to how your day is gone. Every time you walk out that door to go to work, I root for you. And don't get me started on how much I love spending time with you. Those walks we do are my favorite. I love going around the neighborhood with you, carrying you on my back as we talk and talk for hours on end just about anything. You always have something interesting and thought-provoking to say. I think I might have learned more from you than I did in school. Game night is also always so fun. And no, I am not sorry for stealing your stars in Mario Party. You should know they were mine as soon as we started the game. 
Oh, and those times we bake together are just, I'm not sure how to put it, but it feels very intimate in a wholesome way. Plus the food always ends up being just so delicious. On that note, I do have another surprise for you, but that's for tomorrow. Oh, he fell asleep right in my arms. God, that's adorable. Good night, sweetheart. I love you so much. <laughs>